If you create online courses and you want to make sure that your students pass a quiz before they move on to the following lesson, keep on watching because I'm going to teach you how you can do just that. Hi, I'm Tony Lewis with Thrive Themes and this is just your friendly reminder to both hit the like button and to subscribe to our YouTube channel to make sure that you don't miss out on any awesome content that we're constantly putting out there. All right, before we start, in order for you to follow along this tutorial, you wanna make sure that you do two things. Number one, you gotta make sure that you've already created a quiz using Thrive Quiz Builder. And two, you wanna make sure that you've also created a Thrive Apprentice course and that you've got at least two lessons in it. Important, you wanna make sure that at the very end of your quiz, you've included an option for them to retake the quiz in case they fail. Otherwise, they're gonna be held hostage inside your course without being able to move on, which is something that we definitely don't want. All right, let's start. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to navigate to the back end of our Thrive Apprentice course, and we're going to open up with Thrive Architect, the lesson in which we're going to want to quiz our students on. In my case, it is the last lesson of module number, uh, number one. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up with Thrive Architect. Awesome, and here is where our course content is going to be sitting. I'm gonna go ahead and insert some text and we're just going to insert a small call to action. Awesome, and now we just need to find our Thrive Quiz Builder widget. I'm gonna drop it down below. Let me just do this in bold. We're gonna choose our quiz, the ultimate soccer quiz. And Thrive Apprentice actually has a really cool option that we're going to enable, which is that we don't want users to be able to complete the lesson unless they've actually passed the quiz. So as you can see, we've got an enable mark as complete one, and let's do when a user achieves a minimum score of, my quiz has 10 questions, so I'm just gonna give it a, a, a six. So that you know my students need to at the very least get six questions correct if they wish to mark this lesson as completed. I want you guys to understand something before we move on. In order for us to protect content, we first need to tell Thrive Apprentice to make sure that all of our content is fully unlocked upon our customers purchasing our product. This may sound a little counterintuitive, but we're gonna do this for a reason and I'm about to show you. So we're gonna do just that. We're gonna tell Thrive Apprentice that we want to make sure that upon purchase, um, our customers have access to all of our course materials. So we're gonna go ahead and do a drip campaign to enable that uh, automation. So we're going to do start from scratch and we're going to make sure that upon a purchase product, we're going to at a custom interval, unlock access to everything. So we're gonna call this drip campaign, unlock all. Let's create a campaign really quick. We're going to go ahead and navigate over to our product section. We're gonna pick our course and the product link to our course. And here we're gonna open it up. We're gonna go under drip settings and let's make sure that we assign the drip campaign that we just created to our course, unlock all. And if we navigate over to our courses, Let's head back to our drip campaign system. Over here, we actually have all of our course completely unlocked, which is what we wanted. And now we can tell Thrive Apprentice which of our lessons or which of our modules we want to protect. So module one is gonna be fully unlocked. And now we simply need to go ahead and over here where it says module number two, we're going to go ahead and change the behavior for this module. We're going to add in a new protection rule. And we're gonna do this based on a Thrive Quiz result. The quiz to be completed is the ultimate soccer quiz. And we're going to unlock module number two as soon as our users achieve a minimum score of six points. Awesome, let's make the lesson visibility in the lesson list display as locked. And voila, it's that simple. Anyone who tries to access module number two now is going to be prompted to first pass the quiz before being able to take the following lesson. And that's it, it really is that simple. You can learn more about Thrive Quiz Builder and Thrive Apprentice when you get Thrive Suite. There's a link in the description below in case you wanna learn more. I'm Tony Lewis with Thrive Themes and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.